Check out these crazy machines that take food production to a whole new level. Number seven, root veg peeler. The Haith root veg peeler has a rotary drum with 15 rollers that are each three meters long, a patented roller design with two grades of bristles, and a replaceable carborundum section that can be adjusted to fit different produce. It peels and polishes the vegetable, producing a smooth finish by breaking the tough outer surface of the vegetable on the carborundum and then removing the skin with the the brush section. This is in contrast to the product that is peeled in conventional carborundum machines, which leaves a very rough surface, allowing bacteria to enter and leading to breakdown of the vegetable. Number 6. Sandwich Pancake Machine The filled sandwich pancake, or dorayaki, is a product of the sandwich pancake system, which transforms the well-known traditional pancake into something even more delicious and practical. With this pancake production technique, there are numerous possibilities because of the appealing printing and endless variations. The company developed the sandwich pancake system for use in industrial applications and continuous manufacturing. Each component of a pancake maker complies with the strictest dietary and industrial standards. Number 5. Fengshang Slicer Machine Fruit and vegetable processing equipment are supplied and manufactured by Fengshang Food Machinery Company Limited, a reputable supplier of food processing equipment. It has senior industry experience spanning 16 years. Thousands of catering establishments and kitchenware businesses rely on Fengsheng Catering Equipment's highly qualified engineers and first-rate service teams to supply them with affordable processing equipment and a whole production line. Fengsheng caters equipment, including equipment for cutting, washing, peeling, sorting, drying, frying, juicing, packaging, etc., vegetables, as well as equipment for processing meat and seafood. Number 4. Gouda Cheese Traditional Gouda is produced in Hamilton by an artisan cheese factory utilizing milk from a neighboring farm. Learn how each stage of the production process affects the cheese's final properties. By pasteurizing milk, harmful germs are eliminated. The milk is quickly cooled after being heated to 72 degrees Celsius. To make the milk acidic, bacterial culture is added to the milk in the vat at 29 degrees Celsius. The good bacteria introduced by the bacterial culture are crucial to the production process. When the milk reaches a specified pH, rennet is added. As a result, the milk's casein protein coagulates and separates from the liquid whey. Cutting blades stir through the coagulum to break it up into small pieces when it is solid and displays a clean break when tested. The cutting attachments are switched out for stirring attachments after the curds are small enough. The whey is expelled from the vat in enormous quantities. Old and vintage goudas require a harder curd than their milder cousins, so when the curds are strong enough, they are compressed to extract more whey and aid in binding. The curd that has been compacted is marked off, divided into blocks, put into molds, and then pressed. The molded cheese is submerged in a brine solution once it has reached the necessary pH, which is indicated by the cheese turning more yellow. The cheeses are covered in a cheese coat after being taken out of the brine and drying overnight. In a ripening area, the covered cheeses are arranged on shelves. The room is kept at a constant humidity level of 80% and temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. Number 3. Multivac Meat Processing and Packaging The film packaging from Multivac adheres firmly and attractively displays the shape and texture of your fresh meat product without sacrificing quality or weight. Multivac skin packs also offer protection to the food distributor and draw clients to the self-service area. Even frozen meat or pieces of meat with sharp bones can be wrapped in a way that resists punctures. TVI's Integrated Portioning Systems ensure the production of tasty meat products while minimizing waste and giveaways. Exceptional hygienic standards, puncture resistance, mechanical load-bearing ability, and a longer shelf life provide excellent protection and lower microbacterial risk. High sustainability standards are met by attractive multi-fresh vacuum skin packs and form shrink packs, which guarantee an outstanding aesthetic appearance and minimal material input. Number two, how dill. Whatever you are processing, whether it is sauces, dressings, fillings, gels, creams, or premixes, your production will be quicker and more productive thanks to the new Pow Dill. It successfully mixes polymers, thickeners, stabilizers, and a variety of other granules into liquid. Both dispersing solids in water and oil are appropriate uses for it. The direct dispersion approach allows for instantaneous wetting and access
activation of particles due to the reduction in production time and potential reduction in powder requirements depending on the powder's qualities. Pow Dill is a true all-arounder and impresses with its above-average dispersion quality without any agglomerates in the products, whether used in the food industry for sauces, sweet spreads, or bakery fillings, whether used as fillers and thickeners for tablet coatings in the pharmaceutical industry, or for gum formulations in the production of toothpaste or hair gels. Number 1. Turlo Cool The Turlet Turlo Cool, with product sizes ranging from 600 to 1,200 liters, is the ideal choice for quick and effective cooling of everything from thick pasta sauces to juicy marinades and creamy hummus. Its uniqueness is increased by the fact that the flavor and texture are unaltered. With minimum product loss and a swift cleaning process, the batch solution guarantees cost and time savings. Your sauces and very viscous foods need to be cooled fast, but gently at the same time to maintain their full flavor. The Turlo Cool is most at home in this situation. The outcome is uniform and especially mild cooling because of ideal heat transfer, a gentle rotation that is based on viscosity, and a slanted double-walled bowl for even temperature distribution. 